Hello friends, I am Simran Patel, a BCA student of Arun College from Hajipur in the series of learning programming. In this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting topic of our C programming language that is string. So let's begin. In content, I have added what is string, string declaration, how to work with string in C, how to use the predefined string handling functions, array of string, and summary. So now, as per our uh, content, we will first discuss what is a string. In C language, a string is a null terminated character array. This means that after the last character, a null character is stored to signify the end of the character array. For example, if we write care, str, hello, then in the memory, it will occupy the space like h-e-l-l-o, where beginning of the string is from h end of the string is to root slash 0 which is the null string c permits empty string it does not allow an empty character now we will discuss a string declaration care str a b c d slash 0 which is null string first one is this and second one is care str a b c d here uh, Null string would automatically insert it at the end in this type of declaration. We have to remember one thing is that in string declaration, we always use care as a data type, not in float and other data type because a string is a character of array. So we will always use care here. Now we will discuss how to work with a string in C. Read and write string in C using gets and puts functions. So we will uh, look a uh, code. Here to understand these topics, uh, here it is written has included studio dot h, which is the other header file in which uh, puts and gets is there in a string for a string dot a string dot h. It is a header file for a string type of variable is int man. Here is care nickname 20. Care is a data type, nickname is the name of variable, and size is 20. It is a string declaration. Puts enter your nickname. Console display unit using puts gets nickname it is the inputs using gets and after your puts nickname and when you run this code you will get the uh, output as your nickname whatever you enter from your keyword now we will discuss c string function this is the basic type of c string function which is written here strlen it is used to find out the length of a string strlwr it converts a string to lowercase strupr it converts a string to uppercase strcpy it copies first and character of one string strcmp it converts to a string i am i am hoping that you are understanding because a string is not very tough it is very easy and interesting so let's now discuss right strrev it is uh, used to reverse a string strdup it is used to for duplicating a string strchr it find out the last occurrence of a given character in a string strct it concatenates up to a string and return the concatenated strings hope you understand now we will discuss a uh, example by using a string string function here we are going to discuss a uh, example c string function by using strct which is used for concatenation of a string here is studio.h for gets and pulls, string.h federal file is for the string type of variables, int man, char, s1, tan, hello, it is a declaration of our string, char is a type, s1 is a variable and tan is its size, hello is a string, char, second, s2 is a second variable, its uh, size is also 10 and here is a string as well. STR CT S1 S2 having it will concatenate S1 S2 puts output string after concatenation percent S percent S is used in string. It is it is a format specifier, it is used in a string. Return zero. If you look out the output of this code, then it will give that code is like concatenation using STR CT is hello world. So here it is uh, S1 having hello, S2 having world. So it after uh, after a concatenation, it will give the output of uh, hello world. I hope you you are just understanding this uh, code, which is uh, very easy and easy to understand. So 
and from now we will discuss array of strings we seen that a string is an array of characters now suppose there are 20 students in the class and we need a string that stores name of all the 20 students here we need a string of string or array of strings we don't have to confuse about string of strings or array of strings because both are the same. Such array of string would store 20 individual strings and array of string is declared as data type, array name, row size and column size. Now we will see a short summary of this presentation and I am hoping that you are just understanding this presentation. Uh, so now we will just see the summary. String is a null terminated character array. A string is terminated with a null character to signify the end of the character array. Declaration of a string. A string can be declared by two ways. A string can be read and write by using puts and gets. Some basic string functions such as str, alien, str, cd, etc. Array of a string which is also known as a string of a string. Okay, and this is the end of our presentation. I hope you are understanding. And uh, thank you for giving you this patience. And uh, very thanks for watching this video with uh, your concentration, uh, giving your very precious time here. Thank you.